Well, I, I would have thought that we're best to stick with something which is basically a plunger working on that thing that we were talking about just now, where you've got a series of notches on there and mm. some sort of so square threaded thing which is operated by a couple of things on a small motor. Well, I think if we uh, cut out everything we don't need, basically yeah. we just need that to turn. Yeah. So we put our little electric motor on there. Yeah, I just well, yeah, just I think keep the motor down here. Then it's all sort of tied in in the hand. Well, it? it depends what shape uh, the thing is. We don't know where the yeah. space is in there. No. If we if we can possibly cut out a gear, then we want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see where the space is. But that's all we need, isn't it? We need a couple of uh, bearings at the front and the back mm. Mm. Um, for this. And the electric motor, electric motor, and uh, power pack mounted within the casing of the handle. Yes. Yeah. So, does this need to be? Fr uh, it's probably fixed. That isn't it? It'd be quite nice if it was flexible, though. If there's any irregularities in the in the uh, mastic itself, so that runs mm. back, runs right through some sort of fixing. That length. Duplication what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a basic unit there, isn't it? How big does that yeah, need to um, be? Power pack's the biggest thing. The motor doesn't really need to be much more than uh So when this can be pretty piddly, can't it? What sort of size are we talking about for that? The motor Maybe something like that? that there. Yeah. With the thread on it. Mm -hmm. What sort of shape does it need to be? This is the the stem to the plunger, is it? Uh, no, I, I don't think that needs to be. I would say that needs to be about ten mil. Mm. So what was that you drew then? Uh, the the I was running about the size of this this sort of thing here. Oh right. Because it needs to be fairly beefy, doesn't it? Because you know, it's quite a lot. It depends on that. Well, it depends. I mean, if we make that quite wide and give it. Uh, very little pitch, then um, we can have a smaller motor. Mm. So, and the motor's going to be turning a lot faster than we want that thing to move. Yeah. Really, for that to do, we want that to do sort of one revolution in this move only about two mil, three mil. Yeah. can help it. Yeah. So we need a fairly wide diameter with a very thin thread, with a very low pitch, mm. to give us least movement. Mm. And uh, that can be worked with these as well, that kind yeah. of, with a couple of gears. Just got to work out what sort of size. One more one other thing is that you might have to be getting into corners. Mm -hmm. Well, you can either hold it like that or you can hold it like that. Yeah which is more stable. I think if we put some sort of ridge so that you can push up against something under here. Yeah, well that can go so on this, if, on on this, this end molding, flange, yeah. can Because you're actually pushing along the bottom, so that's ideal that that, yeah, that so cup that's, is that's at the bottom. Like that. Have some kind of a flange, which yeah. has got to be quite well thought out. It's not flat by any means. No. Because it's so always uh, going to be held the same way. One of those rings which tightens with a butterfly oh, wing. Yeah. No. You put it where you like. Yeah. Or even take it off altogether. Hmm. I, I think that's uh, the best solution because you've only got half the thing to play with. You can't have one of those on a half a cup, can you? No. Because well, I suppose you could. You do. could have a handle on it, but not one that you can put anywhere. I think. No. You start tightening that. Don't well, you? you're going to cramp uh, cramp it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So I think we should go for some kind of moulding on the end. Mm. 
and this is about three quarters. You push, push the nozzle in, yeah. and it drops down. Yeah, so it'd be button. roughly that sort of. Yeah. Or maybe in a bit, in a bit more like that. Press the button so that this moves in. Yeah. To meet it. Mm hmm. It looks pretty good. And I would say this wants to be some sort of um, zinc die casting, which comes back and is located here. Well, it doesn't have to be especially strong. The only, the only place it's got to be really strong is like that, because you don't want mm. that to fall out like that. It's either got to be a hefty moulding of around about that sort of thickness, or it's got to be yeah. die cast. Yeah. I would have said die cast, a nice, nice elegant little die cast, which sits back in here somewhere. Mm.